Just what I think, I thought I saw it all. I was wrong. Hey man, shout out to you guys for sending me this on Instagram. You guys like to um, react to any videos. Whichever one sounds very interesting or catches my attention, I will react to it. Feel free to send it to my email or on Instagram. Hey, Chicago, Chicago. What's really going on? Like we are really, like we're trying, bro. We're trying. But it's only so much we could do from a distance. I guess if you're in your own community, like in Chicago, Maybe you might be able to make a difference. But I have a lot of people that follow me on Chicago from my other videos that I did covering Chicago, what we're reacting to. So I have a lot of people that follow me and they do talk to me on Instagram. And Tebby Kendall reacts, bro, you have no idea how bad it is. Like, like it's, it's really bad. One guy told me that it was so bad that now he's just trying, like he's been living in Chicago his whole life. I think he's like 39, 40 years old, somewhere around there. And he was like, I got two boys, man. What the age of, uh, I think it was, the oldest was nine, and the youngest was like six. He said, yo, I'm trying to do what I've got to do. I'm working hard. I'm doing two jobs, trying to save as much money as I can. I got to get out of here, bro. Like, yo, he's like, dude, it's so bad. I'm glad you're covering it and telling it like it is. But it's ten times worse when you're living here and you see what's actually happening. I was like, hey, man, I wish you the best, man. Like, Especially when you got little boys growing up, you got to get them out of those type of environment. I don't care what it takes. Do whatever you got to do. Work two, three, just do what you got to do. But with that said, let's get into this video. Is she a bottle at him? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, 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 That's a Jaguar? You got a Jaguar to sit there like that? The guy. The guy trying to. Wow. Hey, we Should have still tracked it too. I guess he's trying to talk about. I don't know if you know. Damn. She done flipped the truck. Ain't no you way, bro. She flipped the whole truck. With all that hair on her head. But <laughs> did she just came out of yo, you guys ever seen the Terminator? I'm sorry to say it, bro. You just flipped your whole truck and you just came out like nothing. And then she's laughing. Yo, the ignorance. Like, what you laughing at? You didn't do nothing. Your insurance about to go through the roof. And I'm pretty sure you're about to go to jail. <laughs> because you just hit multiple cars at the gas station. Which could have lit it on fire. That right there is a hazard. I don't know what type of charge is that. But you just hit, look like you just hit the red truck right there in the lane. The Ford. And you, ha, ha, ha. No care in the world at all. They don't care about nobody. Like, are you serious? You just ruined your whole truck. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. She came out that like laughing. Something's. Nah, you gotta be a little crazy. Ain't no way. Yeah, she definitely she hit that red truck. I know she it looked like she hit another that's car, that's but. That's Ooh, yeah, she hit that she red truck, yeah. Truck. yeah you got you wow. Be that, be that, be that. I even got one. I ain't even got one. I ain't even got one. I ain't even got one. She just tweet. She just ruined the whole truck. Hey, you almost just hit my car with my kids in. 
lucky my mom you ain't just hit it because i'll be beating your wow so whoever that guy was i guess you at the gas station too and i guess he had his um his kids in the car he just said i think that's what he just said is that what he just said let's go back hold on hold on i think that's what he does so and you almost just hit my cow and my kids in yeah so yeah so he so he he has his um his kids in the car that's crazy she had no care in the world whatsoever but it's the way she came out that car did you guys see the way she came out that car i'm trying to be funny but she going like mm, 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 mm. what Ah, this is this is sad. This is sad, bro. And I'm pretty sure she looked like I don't know. She got kids. She looked like she probably got kids, but he got kids. Not the kids being around, having to see this type of behavior from grown adults. Come on, come on. I know that other that other girl with the long green hair. Come on, let's fight. Come on, put them hands up. Come on. I'm too. It's out of I'm mean, about a certain age. A certain thing. You just gotta let go. And she don't look like she's that young. She probably got at least be thirty in her thirties or something like that. Come on, man. Like, why are we taking on such a manly role? I, I noticed that what a, give me the guys think about it in the comments. I'm noticing a lot of women these days, a lot of the black women, are taking a lot of manly role. They're trying to act more like a man. What is that? And I saw a video on Instagram where there was a bunch of, um, it was like about 15 females and like about eight dudes. It was definitely more girls than boys, all right? And all of them were there. And just girls with that fight. It was just fights. Different groups together that's fighting. I, I, I think that was Atlanta. I think that was Atlanta, Georgia. I think that's where it was. But they were just fighting, middle of the night. The dudes in them, they're just laughing. Like, really? That's very, that's barbaric. Like, what man wants to see a woman out there that's fighting every day in the middle of the streets? That is not, that's not attractive, man. What happened to a woman? Like, what happened to the feminine Jesus of a woman? Like, what happened to that? Ever since 2020, it's like something happened. I, I don't know what happened, but the world took a whole big shift to the left. People just been out of touch with reality. Like, how you just gonna smash into a car, drag the man? It looked like he was trying to talk her down, from what I saw. Give me you guys think about that. The guy that tried to open the door and talking to her, unless he known her, she didn't give one care in the world. She dragged him, smashed into another car, and flipped your whole car. Without a care, without a care in the world. I'm not sure if she got arrested. I'm gonna try to read in the um, description. I'm not sure if she got arrested. Yes, yes. In the description, it said she has been arrested for intentionally driving a vehicle into a crowd of both people and vehicles in Forest Park Sunday afternoon, dragging her boy, her boyfriend. That was her boyfriend. That's what I said. It looked like he was trying to talk her down. I she didn't care. She almost killed her own boyfriend. That's crazy. That's out of control. I hope he left her. I hope. I hope he left her. Cause if he didn't leave her, dude. You know where you're about to end up the next time you guys get into an argument. You better leave. And you said she was arrested? Leave. If you're living with her, pack up your bags, clothes, and get out of there. That's crazy. That's not like he act. It seems like he knows her. That's scary, man. Give me guys think about this in the comments. Come on, we got to do better, people. We got we to gotta do better. What did you prove? You proved nothing. Besides getting arrested, besides acting dumb. No, you just smashed other people's car. Now they got to hope that you have insurance. Or else who's going to cover all this damage? And the gas station. That could have exploded. You hit the wrong pump. Multiple, multiple people could have died right there. That's reckless. We got to do better. Even you guys think about this in the comments. And until then, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day. Be safe out there.